Welcome to Grand Signature Blog. I am Shanique Hughes and once again I'm with my very good friend and mentor Robert Kenneth. Today we're going to talk about an amazing subject which gets me really excited because I really screwed up 10 years ago about this. And when I say I screwed up, you know they say that you never make errors, it's never a mistake. You always learn as you go and so you can't be too hard on yourself. However, if I really would have gotten the fundamentals of what seller financing is, I would be in a different position today because in 2008 when we had the real estate debacle and my mentor back then said don't worry if you don't qualify for any loans just find motivated sellers find seller financing there's many ways of doing creative financing and I just didn't believe it honestly I thought who wants to do seller financing who in the right mind can you tell us the benefits of seller financing I'll buy every property you want to bring to me, seller financed, uh, because you don't have to qualify. You don't have to provide W-2s, tax returns, financial statements. Uh, the seller finance is the seller is acting as the bank, and uh, they will make more money in your seller fin financing of the property than if they sell the property, take the money, and put it in the bank. Uh, we recently went to a bank, uh, no names mentioned, and they were going to pay one-tenth of one percent on the amount of money that you have in your savings account. And that is in the state of California. It varies by state. However, right now, interest rates are horrible for people that want to put their savings in the bank. That You are being penalized for saving. Yeah, and then the bank turned around and said, if you want to borrow the money, we'll let you borrow it at nine percent. Nine times more than what you could you know, make on your own money. So that's why the banks, if you look around any major city, just look at the tallest buildings and you'll find that most of them are owned by banks or insurance companies. That's how they make a lot of money. So let's also explain to people, there are a lot of benefits. You, let's say that I bought a house in, um, I don't know, back in the day and it was $100,000. Now is worth a million dollars. Well, if I sell it right away, I would have to pay capital gains on $900,000, correct? That's correct. And also, you're getting interest on your money. What are other um, incentives or why should people consider seller financing? Well, certainly, if you're not in need of, of, of taking the money and buying another property, uh, and if you, you understand you lose money by putting it in the bank, uh, then be the bank uh, and make the interest. Uh, you, you can avoid uh, taxes in a variety of ways. You can do a striker, you can do a 1031 exchange. Uh, these are uh, programs that need intermediaries. It's not something that people do on their own. You, you have somebody that uh, does it for you, uh, but you have a lot of flexibility uh, don't be in the mindset, old school, buy it and then sell it, take your money, put it in the bank. You're going to lose a lot of money over the course of a lifetime. So let's say that you have a property that you want to sell and then you're considering to be the bank, seller financing. What are the requirements or how would you scan the tenant or the buyer to do so? Well, look, if you're the owner of the property, you have every legal, moral, and ethical uh, right to, to offer seller financing. Uh, with Dodd-Frank, it's a very involved federal law. Please check into it. Um, I don't have all the details, and I would be remiss if I said that I did. Uh, but there are very little guidelines. Uh, the place to be is a seller and finance it yourself if it makes financial sense. It's, it's another option. It's not just cut and dry. You don't just buy it, fix it, and then turn around and sell it. Um, you can as an investor, but if you're a homeowner and you want to make the most, then I suggest you consider seller finance. And now the seller does not have to carry the note 20, 30 years. 
you can arrange the deal and that's when people like you who are so knowledgeable and so experienced come in the table because you can put that in the contract and do a balloon payment for me it's pretty new however you can carry the, the notes at 30 years so the, the word is amateurization <laughs> amateurization for 30 years however at 10 15 years then or, or 20 or 20 you expect a balloon payment or five or one whatever the deal is you, you can just that's the magic about real estate you can just slice and dice it in so many different ways in every house and every seller every buyer is a different um, complete different scenario so you have greater flexibility so that means that you can refinance the whoever's selling you is seller financing and you can go to the bank or a third party and say hey can you finance this portion that I owe correct Absolutely. that's called refinancing Absolutely. and so therefore the seller financing walks away with interest on his money and with the full payment as well in whatever years they agree on Absolutely. You're on the money. You just taught me something. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this and you like it, please subscribe and share it with all of your friends. Also, if you're considering seller financing, contact us. We'll buy it. <laughs> subscribe and join the investment community. We have a new episode every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time on YouTube and Vimeo.